Good afternoon and welcome to Pickle Watch episode 25. We're just relentlessly keeping on doing this. Um, I am still in the USA, so this is another USA edition. Welcome to Oregon. There is some sunshine today, which believe me is not a given. Um, and today we are here. We are in the Trader Joe's kosher dill pickles. Trader Joe's, for people that don't know, is a kind of supermarket here. It's basically the only place I can afford to buy my groceries because everything else is wild. Cheese, let me tell you, cheese is like eight pounds here for a block of cheddar. Anyway, time to go vegan. Um, and the kosher, I just looked it up, kosher dill pickles, does not necessarily mean that like a rabbi has been watching the barrels checking that like a pig doesn't groove around and pour its blood into the brine. It just sort of means that it's got garlic in it. That seems to be the definition of a kosher dill pickle is that it has to have garlic in it. So let's go in. Oh, not a big pop. Huh, clean smelling, not very strong. Bit of dill, bit of garlic. Yeah, I mean, the brine's nice and clear, which I like. Um, they are smallish. They are pale, actually. Quite pale. You see that? Yeah, not a dark green thing at all. Look at that. That's almost yellow. Um, pretty knobbly. A bit of a bend, but good firmness. That suggests it's going to be good crunch. So, let's see. Ah, that good crunch. Whoa. Okay. Jesus. That is salty as hell. Okay. Well, I'm not getting much else other than salt and crispiness. Ha! Huh. There is obviously garlic in it, which you can taste a little bit. There's something going on. I think there's like mustard seeds and caraway in. Um, it's not very strong, like with brine. It's not giving me that, like, you know, when you eat salt and vinegar crisps and it makes your taste buds do funny things. It's not, it's not doing that. What it is doing is an absolute shed load of salt, which I don't hate. It tastes a bit like, um, I don't know, like you're like swimming in the sea with your mouth open and then like a sea cucumber dives in on your tongue. It tastes a bit like that. Um, look, if you want a good texture and you want bite, um, it does taste clean, but it is predominantly just salt with like a tiny bit of kind of dill garlic going underneath it. Yeah, I don't love that. I could still taste the salt on my lip. Um, I don't love it. Mm, five. It's a five for me just because nothing else is really happening other than saline. Save 